70 bits. Oh, boy.
is the season indeed. Can you... can you believe it, guys? Christmas. Just a week away. I'm so happy about this information. Uh, Space Hoppercopter. Thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. CF Gaming. Says Hoppercopter, thank you for 70 bits. Yo, nice typo. Thank you for the 100 typos. Infinite Spark, thank you for the 22 whole years. Punch, thank you for the 22 whole years. You know, 20th Century Fox lost a really big opportunity marketing when it comes to this sequel. Instead of Home Alone 2, they should have named it Home Al 2. I'm just gonna shoot him, what do you think? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot him without saying anything. <laughs> Kevin McAllister! Marry me with my money. Screaming. <laughs> Alright, that one got me. None of the other ones got me, that one got me. Thank you, Kevin McAllister. Thank you, Mike, for the 100 bits. Thank you, CF Gaming, Ponch, uh, Infinite Spark, Space Opera Copter. Thank you, everyone. Santa's Sleigh? Was that a thing? I think I know what you're talking about. Remember that old saying, it's better to give than to receive? Yes! Well, give yourself a thrill with the new Home Alone 2 Super Nintendo video game. Also available for your Game Boy and Nintendo Entertainment System. So yeah, we're playing some Home Alone 2 today. Playing a bunch of Home Alone 2 games. <laughs> Last year we played some Home Alone 1 games, so it's only fair. Yes, yeah, for the NES... Uh, I guess we'll play the NES one first. Technically that commercial was for the SNES one, but, you know... Who's counting? E. Typhus! It's Stanksmas. Merry Danksmas, it is indeed time for dank Christmas-adjacent games. And I can think of nothing better than to play some Home Alone 2, because we played Home Alone 1 last year. Home Alone 3 games next year? I don't think there were any. Dino's dad! Marry me with my money. Dino. You spent 967 bits on room service. Ah, shit. We gotta, we gotta get up out of here before I get grounded. Yeah, the PS2 one, we actually played that last Home Alone stream. The, uh, the, the Home Alone 1 stream. I don't know why we threw that one in, we just kinda did anyway. Macaulay Culkin. I can't believe TTS said that right. Actually flabbergasted. Thank you, Slapper Pal. Thank you, Dino's Dad. Thank you, Typhus. Anyway, we won't get uh, we won't get there eventually if we don't start now. So how about we just play the NES one first? Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Let me uh, put this in my overlays. Do I want this in my overlays? Probably not. Let me put this here. Home Alone Two: Lost in New York NES. This was made by Imagineering, as far as I'm aware, who people probably associate with the, uh, the, the Bort, the, the Bort Simpson games, the good old, the good old Bart games. <laughs> we played a few, we played a few Bort games, and this is very much based on that. You can already tell. It rolls the credits first. It's very mysterious. How are you all doing today? Yeah, Bored Samson? This game is very obviously built on the backbone of the Bored games. Cursed knowledge. The screaming statue of liberty in the greatest fighting game ever made. Best of best is based on a poster for Home Alone 2. Yeah! In memory of Tom Height, may he rest in peace. Oh shit, we got the demo! Yeah, there's a double D emote. Breezak! Mercrimbus and Happy Honda Days. Happy Honda Days. Running wild. We know a cat who can really do the cool jerk. We know a cat who can really do the cool jerk. Well, this cat they talking about, I wonder who could it be. <laughs> Thank you, Running Wild. I know I'm the happiest cat, the happiest cat you ever did see. They were the 100 happy cats. Haita Haita, they were the 35 whole years. 
Is a little vagabond using stolen credit cards. I can't believe it. We're gonna get arrested by 8-bit Tim Curry. He looks great. He looks fantastic. Five feet of trouble, blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh my god, it's the Wet Bandits! Call it for Lefty Louie! That you, Louie? I guess Kevin has blue eyes. Does he? I have no idea. Not the Wet Bandits. I guess they're the Sticky Bandits in this one, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. My bad. My mistake. My mistake. They're the Sticky Bandits in this one. You're right. You don't like 8-bit Marv? I think he looks great. Wait till we see 16-bit Marv. 16-bit <laughs> Marv is arguably more terrifying. Me and Marv need some help to bag a wise Alec punk running around. Man, this text scrolls. It sure does. Not very swiftly, but it scrolls. All right, we're in, baby. Oh no, I couldn't grab the thing. Oh no, I've already been command grabbed by Tim Curry. All right, let's back that up so we don't lose a life. Fighting Polygon team, thank you for really 11 whole years. Run it back. You see Anna's gifting dead subs? I got bored, Simpsons. I can't believe it. We got command grabbed. Yeah, we can slide into the suitcases. Thank you for the ten whole gift subs, Sianis. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Always thank your gift subber chat room. Thank you so much. We have a gun. We've obtained a gun. Not the old lady! Oh, I didn't low profile that. Huh. Shit! This game is impossible. Oh no, we've already lost another life. Yeah, the Duck King slide? I guess we'll just reset when we die on the first stage. The first stage is probably one of the hardest ones, mysteriously. This game, and most versions of it, front load the difficulty. So once you get past this first bit, it gets a lot easier. <laughs> Had to end work early due to a positive COVID test. Oh no! But hey, on the bright side, I'm just in time for a Dino stream, and just like Kevin McAllister, I'm home alone in New York. <laughs> well, I hope you get better, TDX. I hope you feel better. You are more than welcome to chill. More than welcome to chill in the Home Alone 2 stream. We're just, we're just vibing in here, running away from 8-bit Tim Curry. Yeah, we are lost in New York for today. There we go. Not the reception! I don't think the knee slide works on the old ladies. We're not supposed to go in that room because there's a shady guy in a suit. Shady man in a pinstriped suit. I gotta hit the elevator button. Is that a gun we have? Yes, it is. Oh, you actually have to have, like, momentum. You just gotta slam on the elevator button until it gets here. There we go. Then it'll take us to a random floor. I think we have to do, like, five or six floors before we're allowed to get out of the building. And it chooses them in a random order for whatever reason. I've shot the old woman. I don't feel great about it. Why, oh, this door is not open. Hello, sir. 
You have to find Kevin, in the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. <laughs> Space! Thank you for the 100 Tim Curries, you're so right. Oh no. Woo, what a slide! Okay, we got one heart back. I want that pizza slice. You need, I think, six pizza slices to get a one-up. Okay, we got a gun out of it as well. More ammo is always good. Yes, give me this ammunition. Yeah, we shot a maid. I mean, to be fair, the maid was aggressive for whatever reason. The maid was like... The maid was shooting at us? I'm not sure why. I don't know what Kevin did exactly to the maid. And we take this to another floor. Because <laughs> they're filthy animals. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. I can, I can slide under this. Okay. Okay, okay. Gotta look around for hidden shit at all times. There we go. Cookies! I think if you collect 20 cookies, you get one heart back, which lets you take another hit. You never got past the first level. I can't really blame you. I would say that the first level in this game is one of the harder ones. I would say that the first two stages are harder than everything that follows it. Which, you know, is not generally how games are designed, but... <laughs> okay, more cookies. If we can get our hearts back, that'll be fine with me. Yeah, the impossible first level. I think we'll be okay. At least until the insta-kill platforming hits. Don't got much faith in that. <laughs> you gotta, You gotta keep that shit moving at all times. Tim Curry's right behind. Need to have at least a little bit of speed when you do the cool knee slide, or else it won't actually hit anything. The concierge! Marry me with my money. A limousine and a pizza. Compliments <laughs> of the Plaza Hotel. Pizza! <laughs> they, they were the- they were the- they were the They were the pizza! Two words. Yes, more nails for my gun. I didn't realize I had a nail gun this whole time. Why are we collecting random shit? I don't know. You don't actually have to do... I mean, you don't technically have to pick up any of these items. It's just we're collecting extra hearts so that we can take hits. We're collecting pizza slices so that we can get extra lives. And we're collecting ammunition for our weapons, which will be good to have later. Yeah, resource management. That's very much the case in the Genesis Home Alone game. The maid! Marry me with my money. Get the hell out of my hotel. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. <laughs> Thank you, maid, for the dollar you do. What's up, Schubert? Oh, no. What do we got up here? Anything? Nothing? Okay. What's up, Adam Admar? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Home Alone 2 stream. Aha! Free shit! That just gave us invincibility for a little while, I believe. 
I don't know when it runs out, though, so I'm not gonna fuck around. Yeah, is the maid throwing bloody pillows at us? I guess it's not particularly explained. There's a bottle. A mystery beverage. Ah, super speed! Ah, yes, the bell, which gives Kevin McAllister a screw attack! Well, you don't remember the scene in the movie? You don't remember the bit when Kevin McAllister did a screw attack? I remember that scene. That was a classic scene. Pennywise? Excuse me, sir. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do. Well, you better let the poor guy out. <laughs> ah Thank ah you, Pennywise. Ah Golden Cherry Dragon! Thank you for 17 whole years. Okay. Okay. I think there's probably a second guy. Yep. Trying to be careful about this. Not the, not the dude's chopping meat. Not the chef. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there go his clothes. Do I have to touch the hat? I don't remember. Ah, yes indeed. Oh no, that we got caught by the sticky bandits! Don't ask why we're stripping the chef, don't worry about it. Can't believe it, can't believe Kevin got caught. Come to Uncle Harry, you little punk! I know, their grab range is absurd. Not a single one of these sprites look like who they're supposed to look like. Home Alone! Marry me with my money. Why do they call it Home Alone when Kevin is neither at home nor alone? Makes you think. It really does make you think, I agree. Thank you for the dollar he do, Home Alone. Is that Bob Ross? Maybe. I can't disprove that. At 10 o'clock tonight, we're rich! Nah, I don't think the lady hears them. He's got the yellowest teeth I've ever seen. Marv looks more like a vampire Bob Ross. Kevin looks like some of his flesh is gone. That's is that what happened? Kevin's not even awake right now. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Marv got killed! <laughs> Take that, creep! <laughs> I can't believe it, Marv's dead. Ah, he deserved it. It's fine. <gasps> oh shit, a rat! Okay, it's fine.
Typhus. Marv and Harry looking like they belong in Sid Meier's Pirates. Honestly, yeah. No, I agree. Maya. You gotta be careful here, because they just kind of show up out of nowhere. These people just popping out of the trees, you never know. And you have to get a sliding start so you can hit these rats! Also bats. I don't remember the bats from Home Alone. I just... I'll just assume that that's accurate. Maybe I fell asleep right before the scene where Kevin McAllister had to fight off an army of bats. Maybe I just missed that scene. Yeah, famous New York bats. It's a serious problem. Try and be thorough about this. There we go. Ten shots for my gun. Okay. What we're actually supposed to do is climb up this pole specifically, because you can just climb up this one. Oh, we missed a pizza slice. Yeah, eh. There we go. Yes! Every six pizza slices is a one-up. We need to collect these when we can. We need to collect cookies as well for extra hearts. We're only down to one heart, so we'll die if we get touched again. It's a very dangerous game. It's very easy to die in this. The bats are cute there. They they're kind of cute. I don't disagree. Alright, there's a rat. If there's anything hidden around here, I guess not. You were close. Close to death? Oh, there we go. Now we're actually dead. Hey, we got the cookies on the way down! What was that dying to collect cookies tech? That was pretty good. I wonder if those other bullets came back. Let's take a look. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they did. That kind of works out after all, then. I'm not too upset by that. You could die and resurrect yourself. Yeah, I guess. We get this, and then there you go, there's our extra life back. That's a net gain of about four hearts. You can tell this is based on the Simpsons NES games. The jumping sound is identical. That is absolutely the sound of Bart Simpson jumping. <laughs> Kevin McAllister! Oh, the sewers. These cookies and pizzas just aren't doing it for me anymore, and I've been running all night. <laughs> I'm going to need, like, some sort of Big Apple at 3 a.m. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin McAllister. You went a ways for that joke, but I, I, I support it. Now, how do I climb this without getting munched on by every seagull in New York? Apparently, you just don't. Or that those weren't seagulls, those were like pigeons. Those were from the pigeon lady, yeah? Shoot Mike, did Mike do that one? I don't think he did. <laughs> okay. 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 I think this is the entrance to the next stage. Yes, sir. All right, now we're in the house. What's up, Water Kirby? 
We are now in the house. Up. We have to unlock the up door. Ah, yes. Platforming! Old people are swatting at us. Gosh, New York sucks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sayara. God is dumbass. Marv is dead. <laughs> Can't believe we flattened Marv and he died. He just disintegrated, yeah. No, nobody shot you, Mike. We thought about it, though. Cannot hit we cannot hit Marvin, we have to go around him. So this game is a little fucked up in that this is the only spot you're supposed to uh intentionally fall down. Because there's a key there, as you can see. And so we have to fall in such a way that we can collect that key. Because, you know, this game was designed. Yeah, that makes sense. And there's a very specific, like, way we're meant to be doing this in order to get it. Let me see. Do we want to fall right about here? No, I think we have to fall on the left side of that platform. Is that Kevin holding a gun or an arm cannon like Mega Man? Also, why does it look like someone threw a big slab of cookie dough on Kevin's head? <laughs> You're not wrong. One more thing, where is Tim Curry? I'm here for Tim Curry. Is this the game where Kevin sends him to space to escape capitalism or something? I think that's what happened, yeah. I think we have to shoot this. And then we have to, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he steps on the paint. And then he dies, somehow. It's very lethal, it's very toxic paint. Just kills on contact. Oh, I fucked that up. There we go, we gotta let him step on it. Yeah, there we go. It's a very dangerous building. Yeah, he just dies, it's fine. This bit, I think we have to hit Harry with a bunch of logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd he go? He's gone. We have to keep him on the screen for this whole thing. There we go. <laughs> All right, they can't go in that door. Kevin grows up to be Jigsaw. I mean, I can believe that. That makes sense to me. That seems like the logical next step to this character arc. We got a key, we got a bell. The bell gives us a screw attack, which... I don't actually know how helpful this is gonna be, yeah. If anything, collecting that bell is gonna make jumping around harder. There we go. Gotta go get that key again. Let's ignore the bell this time, because it's not actually gonna be helpful. Yeah, the secret Samus origin story, absolutely. Uh, this gun. Okay. That one's simple enough. We're up to five pizza slices, which is good. Let's ignore the bell this time. There we go, okay. These jumps kind of suck going the other way around, though. I don't know why the platforms are isometric. <laughs> jumps are a problem. Alright, the key's not for that door. We gotta go up. I think we're on the last floor. Yo, what's up, Danube? Welcome to Home Alone for the NES. Who 
designed this building? How unfinished is this building? I don't know, we're pretty lost in New York at the moment. Our family has left us for dead at the airport. Hey, a one-up? The game knew you'd get cooked. Oh no, we didn't make that jump. On the upside, I suppose that pizza also respawns. Yo, 20, thank you for the 33 whole... Excuse me, that's a tier 2. Thank you for the 66 whole years. There we go. We need to... I mean, as long as we can keep collecting that pizza, we'll be fine. Yeah, load-bearing drywall. These jumps are ruthless in this building. What's the most years somebody subbed? I have no earthly idea. Probably Bluto, who's been tier 3 since I started streaming. Oh shit, we're leaving the building! There we go. Oh, it's the escape scene. Look at him go. Alright, we don't have to go super duper fast. We just have to outspeed Marv. I cannot reach those. Marv, you've got to put that bunk in an auto-scroller. Not the entire safe, not the whole Looney Tunes safe. There we go. All right, we're at the end of the game, baby. We have one final objective, and that is to slay the Sticky Bandits once and for all. So we got to go up this Christmas tree where the, uh, the pigeon lady is going to help us out. There she is. Whenever we press up, she'll shoot downwards. There we go. There's Marv down. You gotta, you gotta press the up button and then Kevin calls for help. Yeah, it's just like the movie. You'll get anti-aired, stupid. There we go. Got him. I don't know why the tree has a face, I couldn't tell you. But we did it! Well done, Turner. Thank you. This is probably the hardest version of this game, so I'm glad that went as well as it did. It's okay, Mom, I'm fine. Kevin, you look great. You look great, Kevin. Is he okay? What do you mean? What's the problem? He looks fine. Did they get caught in a nuclear blast? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's funny, he looks a little bit better once he zoomed out. Kevin on the in the top right looks like the Joker for some reason. Kev misunderstood the term Christmas joint. Kevin, you okay? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you, the Ultimo. Yeah, but at least we get a turkey dinner. TDX. Imagine if Joe Pesci reprised his Oscar-winning role as Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas in the Home Alone series. Oh, that'd be so sick. The list of casualties would go as follows. Kevin McAllister, his whole family, Old Man Marley, Marv, Billy Bats, and Samuel L. Jackson. They would never make it to New York. 
There we go, the end. I think if we had hit start there, the game would have started from the beginning. I think it was about the loop. Jacob Fly. They all look like burn victims. I can't disagree. Game over. Press start to continue. Does this game loop? It sure does loop! Let's just get command grabbed. <laughs> just let me just- I'm just gonna get command grabbed. There we go. What a command grab, I says. Can't believe it. Kevin's dead. It's very tragic. You absolutely hate to see it. Let's look at, I guess we'll look at all the versions made by Imagineering first. They ported this game several times. Let's check out the SNES one. Actually, I think we played the SNES one once before, like, three years ago, something like that. But yeah, let's play this version. Let's play the SNES version. This version is notably easier than what we just did. There's a lot less insta-kills, for one thing. There we go. Home Alone 2? <laughs> oh no, that's a TM. <laughs> I thought it said 2TH as a TM. That's what that is. <laughs> this is what this is what we have Dino noise for whenever we hear some human style music. This is the exact situation for the Dino noise emote. Once again, in memory of Tom Height. The Plaza Hotel, 12.30 p.m. Oh, that was the demo. Okay, let's actually play the game. Oh, you're looking good. This is the concierge of the... Ooh, I can speed up the dialogue. I'm alerting the other hotels around. There's a little vagabond using credit cards. His name? Kevin McAllister. Marv, you look so good on Super Nintendo. Marv, you look great. You look huge. What do we think about 16-bit Joe Pesci? I like what I'm seeing here. John Home Alone 3! Marry me with my money. Everyone knows I'm the best. I had to avoid a lot more people. I'm gonna be honest with you. I could not watch all of Home Alone 3. I watched some of it, and I tapped out. I just, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, fake, fa yeah, you're right, I'm an absolute fake Home Alone fan. Couldn't, couldn't sit through all of Home Alone 3. I never watched anything after that, but it's to my understanding there's like... five or six of them? Ah! Okay, okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in? Okay. He's dead. I killed him. <laughs> you get a nice little skidding noise now. <laughs> when you do the slide on your knees, you get a little good skidding noise. There we go, we got six nail gun rounds. What's in the gift shop? There is another gun up there, but how do I reach it? Ah, I gotta go around. Eh? 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 Ah, yes, the boxing glove cannon. I can't seem to reach! Eh? 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 There we go. Switch the title! Oh, shit, you're right. Actually, this came out the same year, so all I have to do is put an, put an S there. <laughs> Wow, this background music gives me so much anxiety. Fantastic. That's definitely what they were going for, so I guess job well done. Yeah, this is the first level of the game. Kevin is in quite a lot of danger, as you can tell. Why that is exactly, I couldn't tell you. I don't know why everyone in the hotel wants Kevin dead. According to the game, it's because we used a credit card. 
which as we all know is illegal. Sly Dante. Why do all of these Home Alone 2 adaptations start at the end of the second act? Where are the many games where you punch buzz at the Christmas pageant, <laughs> run through the airport, <laughs> check out Duncan's toy chest, and more? That would be Zero pretty good. Of ten. Don't worry, we'll, s we'll, we'll at least see Duncan's toy chest today. I don't think we're ever going to punch buzz at the Christmas pageant, but we will see Duncan's toy chest. At some point, that's my promise to you. Thank you, Sly Dante. Man, gotta go up a lot of floors. What a thrill. 16-bit Tim Curry. Marry me with my money. I am no longer a mere 8-bit individual. I am much stronger now, but that is just the beginning. <laughs> I am Soon much I will be 64-bit Tim Curry and no one can stop me. Oh no, he's become drunk with power. How do I switch? There we go. Ooh, can I... I wonder if I can... Can I... I might be able to hop on that plant and get over... Get over Spock here. I cannot. I cannot. He's too tall. Oh, hello, miss. There's absolutely nothing in this room, understood? Let's not get eaten alive by the vacuum. The vacuum is an insta-kill, by the way, if you get hit by it. I could not begin to explain why that is. Yeah, there's no way to jump over Spock. He's too tall. Sorry, miss, that was a little rude. I know, she's dead. I didn't mean to kill her entirely. <laughs> oh my god, he's just standing there! Menacingly! Alright, Picard is also too tall to jump over. That's one of the big questions, Fresh Salad. We'll never know. <laughs> Home Alone Metroidvania. It's just Kevin McAllister running around New York. <laughs> he gets a double jump at some point. He's gonna turn on a dime, isn't he? Yeah. <gasps> I'm sorry, miss. Oh no, I only hit her projectile. I might be able to throw this at her. There we go. You just gotta kinda jump around like an idiot sometimes, is how you get free shit to appear. You just gotta find hidden, invisible objects. It's just kinda how it goes. There's our screw attack. We got our screw attack back. Screw attack's pretty good in this game. You can actually hit stuff with it. That 
also works in real life. Yeah, I agree. I bet if we asked Macaulay Culkin if he can do a screw attack, I bet he would I bet he would say that he can. Oh no, I can't screw attack that guy. This is the this is the only guy we can't screw attack. That's okay, now we know. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. We got some pizza. Not too bad. More bullets is always nice. Okay, seems to be nothing else here. Yeah, I think Imagineering was American was an American studio. Although Japanese developed Home Alone game sounds pretty awesome. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Makeshift Mulder. Thank you for the follow. I once more have a screw attack. Home Alone Muso. Oh God! As soon as I walked in, I got grabbed. Okay, that's why they put an extra life in there. They put an extra life in there because they like, we know you're going to get grabbed by this. You're 100% getting grabbed by this. We're going to give you a one-up. Skeleton. Oh, dude, the Home Alone fighting game would be so good. Could you imagine the set play that Kevin McAllister would get in a fighting game? Could you imagine the absurd Oki he would get on every knockdown? Like, he lands a sweep, he gets to set up, like, five traps. <laughs> Down to the basement. Okay, there's an extra life. There's more ammo for our boxing glove cannon! Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Whoa! There wasn't a second guy there on NES. They added a brand new guy. I hear breaking glass. It's just a lot of... All right, we took a lot of hits. Okay, okay. Gotta get to the chef. Where's he at? There you are. There he is. Huh. Huh. Oh, you gotta watch out for the. Gotta watch out for the cleavers, though. He's got good cleaver mix-ups. Seems like we're better off staying at ground level here. If only slightly. Uber Wolf Man! There we go. Sorry, I figured it out. There we go. Yo, what's up, Dick Debonair? Oh, we got his dumb ass. We got him. We gotta get caught by the sticky bandits again. We spent nine months thinking we had the worst luck in the universe. 
these sprites, I can't tell what's even happening. I don't know what's happening on the right side of the screen. There's like a weird... It's like a weird box, and then a thinner box. It's like a it's like a juice box with a straw almost going on over there. Marv is slowly decomposing. <laughs> You're not wrong. Thank you, Uber Wolfman, for the 15 whole years. He's dead. He's dead again. They didn't draw him, like... They didn't draw any battle damage on him, because it was just like a... It was a digitized cutout of his face. Look at this fucking guy. Alright, we got him. Uncle Fester does not seem that hard to dodge in this one, thankfully. This guy's got a bigger hitbox than Uncle Fester. He's got like a sweeping motion. <laughs> Yo, D! Oh, holy shit! Marry me with my money. Merry early Crimbo, gamer. You didn't have to do that! It's $200 in dues! Thank you, though. I hope you have a merry Crimblo as well. Thank you, Dick Debonair. Did you know that Dick Debonair also streams? Did you know that you could go to twitch.television slash Dick Debonair right now? And you could watch Dick Debonair stream incredible goofy games. Dick Debonair streams every day. <laughs> You beat me to my own punchline! How dare you! Thank you so much. Someone use that weird shout-out command for Dick Debonair. I have no idea how to use that command. Why is platforming all of a sudden extremely hard with the screw attack? Okay, there we go. We're getting some free shit. Okay, 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 okay. It's just shout out, uh, slat, uh, let me see. Let me, let me, let me figure out how to use this Twitch thing. Did I do it? Did I? Okay, cool. I did it! I learned how the website works. I've been streaming for a while, but I just now found out how the website works. Very proud of myself. This is burning through all of my water gun ammo. There we go. Kevin McAllister, you have killed a man for sure. Oh no. That was like a 500 frame overhead and I got hit by it. Can't believe it. Slide into the dogs. Oh, hello. Hello, miss. Don't get killed by the birds. Oh, no, I got killed by the birds. You got me fair and square. Knees of steel. Yeah, knees of steel. Always be doing a knee slide, that Kevin McAllister. It's just the most optimal way to travel, isn't it? We just kind of have to. We just have to dodge birds for a while, pretty much.
And then we shake hands, because we're friends now, I guess. And she points us to the ladder. Look at him go. Into the house. The uncle's house. 12.30 a.m. So immediately... Immediately, this version is easier than the previous game. In the previous game, you fall into this pit, you die. Now you just fall down to the floor below, which is, you know, excellent news. So all of these rooms are gonna have... All these rooms are gonna have certain icons on the door, and we're gonna need to get a corresponding key. Which means we're just gonna kind of have to explore. Yeah, we need the Z key for this door. We don't got that. I believe here we need to fall down in a specific spot. Let's look around, see if there's any free shit. There we go. Always be on the lookout for free shit. Pizza. Okay, we have one key. We have one key to our name. Got some more ammo. We have to figure out what floor that key was on. Yeah, always find free shit. Before we start going into any rooms, let's just keep looking around. Jacob Fly, thank you for the 12 whole years. I cannot reach this! I can't reach this! Hi, Kevin! You never learned how to jump cut! That's okay. Aha! It was worth it. And we're gonna probably have to get to the... Let's check the top floor real quick. Before we do anything else. I think this is the key that we have, yeah? We might as well since we're here. All of these rooms will have a different scenario where you have to, uh... Deal with the sticky bandits in some kind of a goofy way. In this case, you just jump on them until they fall in. <laughs> and then they drop the next key. It's the closest this game comes to actually having, like, a Home Alone-style set traps gameplay. I've been thinking about all the Home Alone sequels after the second one, mm -hmm. and how they all went to the formula of the first film, with Kevin being alone in a house, yeah. when they should have gone bigger. And should have had Kevin be lost in an entire country. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd watch that movie. That'd be pretty good. So for this... For this one, I believe we have to... Let me see. How do we... How do I get up there? Yeah, we gotta shoot the bowling ball. So that it falls on him. Nice! Home Alone 5 lost in time. It's like a futuristic Kevin McAllister. He's just lost in, like, the year 4500. What an anti-air. I lost my screw attack, but that'll probably make jumps a little easier, so that's fine. I don't think the bowling ball can actually hit you, no. Then again, I've never tested it. I feel like it probably can't, but I, I, I don't know for certain. Then we're back to this room. Whoops! Fell in. Get back over there. Quantum Leap. Home Alone collab. Dude, Quantum Leap is so cool. 
Now, what floor did it just dump us on? Because I think we gotta get back to the top floor. How do we feel about this jump sound? Are we... Yo, and right, I might not have said that right, I'm sorry. How are we feeling about this jump sound? Are we all... Are our ears bleeding yet? From this jump noise? I mean, I just think that's the sound all human beings should make when they jump. Chicken. Ah, shit. You got me again, video game. Let's get back up those stairs. And we... And then we... And then we... There are a lot of Friday the 13th movies. Jason went to space at some point. That's a thing. Yeah, there was a Jason X where Jason went to space. Why is that platform impossible to land on? Is the hardest jump in the whole game trying to just jump on Marv's head? <laughs> this home isn't alone! <laughs> we found the flaw in this film. We found the one flaw in this otherwise bulletproof piece of cinema. How did I miss Marv just now? How'd we miss him? That's impossible. That's alright. I mean, at least we're not in any danger while we're doing this, right? It could be worse. We could lose a life every time we fuck this up, but the game is kind enough that we don't. In the NES version, we would have been straight fucked. Marv is a ghost, that's what I think it is. I think Marv might be a phantom. He might be incorporeal. I think that's what's going on here, right? Marv died in Home Alone 1. And then this is his ghost, and that's why we can't jump on him. I think that's what's happening. He marved all over you. How did I miss the platform that time? Oh no, I got got twice by the same thing. Yeah, the hitboxes are a little cursed in this game. That's okay. That's alright. The game is generally a lot... ...nicer to you than the previous one. So we're not really getting penalized for these fuck-ups. Yeah, isometric platforming. But you really gotta put them, you gotta really knock them all the way down, huh? Well, this doesn't seem to be working. Let's see. Let's take a look around. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work at all, actually. Maybe we're supposed to just shoot him. Yeah, I saw his legs! It was in the floor! We've got giant guns. Maybe we should just shoot the guy. It's possible I can just bounce off his head, grab the key. Yeah, you're right. That would require them to be really high up. We'll try that. We'll try and uh, have them go up enough that we can just grab the key. Must slide everywhere. Oh no. We're gonna have to do this on Harry's head. Marv's head is too mysterious. 
Yeah, there was a whole pizza in the rafters. We've already got five sixths of another of another pizza as well, which would be an extra life. Yeah, that's the current plan, Greener. We're gonna just try and bounce off their head to get the key. That's gonna require us to get a decent amount of height, though. And we don't want them to grab us, and we don't know where their grab range is exactly. Once they're high up enough, they'll go into, like, a grab. And that'll insta-kill Kevin. And we don't want that, so we need to time this in such a way that we're... That they are high enough to reach the key. But not so high that they try to grab Kevin. Oh, there we go. That's a lot easier than we were making it. <laughs> Zeke was downstairs, I believe. Yeah, block that command grab. Blocking's not gonna help anymore. We got wall splats on block in Street Fighter 6, dude. Blocking? We're never gonna need to block again. He's dead! Okay. So what key do we have now? We have the... Okay, let's get back. I think that's back upstairs. Yeah, we crushed him with... I mean, we crushed him with 10 tons in the previous one as well. He didn't get pancaked the same way he did on NES. Which is a little unfortunate. Now, what floor is this key to? Let's try the second floor. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you got me. Once we're past this stage, everything else is pretty trivial. We got that chase to sequence, which is fairly harmless. And then the tree scene, and then we're done. This stage is a bit more labyrinthine than everyone that comes before and after. It's weird, because this is like a five or six stage game. And yet, two stages in particular take up, like, 80% of the game's runtime. The first stage in the hotel takes a huge amount of time. And then this stage takes up another sizable chunk. Hey, we got that extra life back. I'm a big fan of the car skid noise when he does his knee slide. I think it's pretty good. Okay, so this door is on the top floor. I'm gonna get all the way back to the top. seemed like overkill. I'm not gonna lie to you, Kevin. Kevin old chum, I'm gonna be honest, I think he's dead. Whoops. That's alright. <laughs> he's extra dead. The way that it followed him, or the way the camera follows that punch is absurd. The other boxing glove gun, I think it just hits a guy and then they die, but... The, the bigger one, I think it pierces through one enemy and then hits everyone behind him. So if Harry had been back there, he would have died too. There's the room.
Yeah, we set him on fire. It's fine. It's fine. He's a big boy. He probably lived. He's probably okay. Where did this one go? Where did... Where did this key belong? There we go. Huah! Approach me, coward! Okay, well... <laughs> and then this goes back to the top floor. Marv might be a little dead. That's okay. I don't think anything is going to hurt Marv worse than stepping on that nail in the first movie anyway. Yo, what's up, Wrath? We'll just light the rope on fire! <laughs> oh no, but Marv was on that rope! Ah, shit! Well, he's dead. Sorry, Harry is still chasing us. Oh, I'm not allowed to touch the safe. Understood. These four ground obstructions are a problem. Why are there bats? This thing is weirdly difficult to jump over. Where's that Christmas tree? We gotta get to that tree! Not the rats, bro. I did not block the overhead. Good. Hey, a whole pizza! That was very kind of them. You can see those all the time in New York. You'll just see entire pizzas floating in the air for you to pick up. All right, to the tree! We gotta get to the top of the tree. Here we go. Same deal as before. We gotta have Bird Lady. Gotta have Bird Lady do the work. Oh no. Yo, the footsies are immaculate. <laughs> okay. I don't know how many more shots we gotta hit them with. Probably not many. There we go, is one down. And <laughs> he falls to his death all the way down. <laughs> Oh no, you are Marv got us. Marv with the killing blow. That's okay. Not a problem. Yeah, the Azuna drop is pretty sick. I mean, we just gotta vaguely hang out next to Bird Lady. The tree had a Satan face in the NES version, too, Skeleton Manners. Damn, he's good. Marv is cracked. Oh, 
There we go. Easy game. It's looking like NES tiles. This was an NES game first, after all. Well done, Turner. Then Kevin McAllister slowly floats to the earth. With the assistance of some friendly pigeons. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good. Skeleton. Oh, hell yeah! More cutouts! Oh, Kevin, we were so worried! It's okay, Mom. I'm fine. No punctuation. I know, but have you got something against spending Christmas with your family? No. But New York is the best place to be! Roll credits! Oh, wait. Marv is in jail. <laughs> Joe Pesci and Marv are in jail. Little Brad, if I ever get my hands on him again! Yep. Marv, you turkey. Shut up! Poor guy. That's a remarkably good-looking SNES Joe Pesci. I'm gonna be honest, that's a good-looking Joe Pesci. Marv, on the other hand, is not quite... <laughs> Just you wait, Kevin. We'll get you back in Home Alone 3E. Home Alone 3E?! Does he look as good as Ness Steven Seagal? We gotta get around to that game at some point. That's e, true. E. Marv does look deep fried. That's okay. And then it just no credits, just smash e. cut to the title e. again. Oh, that's right. The credits were at the start. That's what it was. That's right. We're not home alone anymore. Let's look at. There is one more version of the Imagineering. There is one more version of this. Let's take a look at it. Let's look at the Game Boy version. Here we are. Whoops, there is a line break in there somewhere. Home Alone. There we go. Where'd I put my where'd I put my completely legitimate Game Boy? There you are. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. All right. Hell yeah, I got a good feeling about this. Twentieth Century, Fox Film Corporation, all rights reserved. Look at that, Kevin. That's a good Kevin. This is the demo. Oh, that's a good knee sliding sound. I like what I'm seeing. The chat room is asking for smoilers. They won't have them. <laughs> Where's Marv? This is the this is the hotel guy. We haven't even he he wouldn't even have shown up yet. Can't believe the word simp is in here. <laughs> Can't believe I just read that. The Ultimo! I'm heading to the one place not corrupted by Kevin, space. I bet if Kevin went to space, it'd be a lot more dangerous. I wouldn't- you, you wouldn't want Kevin McAllister off the planet, because he's gonna booby-trap the entire cosmos. We have to immediately start moving! Kevin is very floaty in this one. Extremely floaty boy! 
Give me that gun. Thank you. You really do not want Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Thank you, Panzer, for the 100 bits. How to... Ah, shit. I was gonna ask, how can we get this without taking damage? Oh, that's right, the vacuum is a one-hit kill. We slid into the vacuum, gamers! Let's back that up. What's up, Goaty? We're playing Home Alone 2 games right now. Yeah, I know, he just got eaten by a vacuum. He's fucking dead. Where was that gun? There you are. Did we get sucked into the vacuum? It's a vacuum! What else was gonna happen? I don't think Kevin is shirtless, I just think it happens to be remarkably flesh-colored. At least I can jump over these guys in this version. If only <laughs> when I have objects with which to do so in front of me. Every version of this game we've played so far has been, yes, the same person, Whiskey. I only have four pistol rounds. Oh no. I want that. Thank you. Why are the buckets pissing? They're buckets. They hold water. Actual cardboard lime palette, yeah. I mean, I we could do black and white. We could do uh, we could do super Game Boy colors. We could go with the where'd it go? We could do super Game Boy. We could do the super Game Boy palette. That's not bad. We're just gonna keep it normal. We'd go with the normal one. Oh, free shit! Yes! Yeah, the lime jello green, it's very strong, I agree. Nobody's tried to kill us yet in these rooms, that's a... Uh... That's much better than before. <laughs> Used to have to fight for our lives in each of these rooms, but they've been kind to us so far. up in to go trans yeah i mean you gotta play some home alone games on christmas it's not christmas yet but it's also christmas so merry christmas i'm having a fantastic afternoon i hope you're having a good afternoon yeah, that makes sense. what a slide Ooh, more bullets. It's almost Christmas, that's true. That means all the funny people, every funny person on Twitter is gonna post the same Ace Attorney meme. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I gotta rev up that draft, baby! You already know! So the bell in this game gives you extra jump height. Oh.
how to approach. How to approach? Okay. Oh, there was nothing even over here. What was the point of this? Understood. Understood, understood. There's a surprising lack of items to find in these rooms filled with enemies. It's almost as if we wasted our time even going in them. But at least we already have five lives to our name. Lost our bell! Cursed to jump at a normal height! That's okay. Back in the Big Apple, are we? What? Do you know how to get around this time? I don't, I'm sorry. I have no idea. I'm lost in New York right now, TM. My sense of navigation? Dreadful. The worst there's ever been. <laughs> he acted like you won't get command grabbed. I definitely did get command grabbed. It's okay, sometimes you just die. It's just how it goes. Yeah, there was a Game Boy version of the Home Alone 1 game as well. I don't think we streamed that at the time. Just because there was enough other ones to worry about. It seemed fine. Home Alone 1 for Game Boy, it seemed fine. <laughs> it was okay-ish. Well, that is high praise. Aha! Cool. Is that screw attack or is that invincibility? Okay. So in theory, then, I can just walk through this shit. Gotcha, understood. Yeah, the pillows of doom. They're weighted pillows. They're very heavy. Pizza, yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! That was crazy! He went- he had a double jump? That's crazy! I had no idea he had a double jump. That's a dangerous man. The heat-seeking bellhop? That was- I've, I've never seen that happen before. On the other hand... I think Home Alone 1 for the Genesis had some goofy shit like that, too, where Marv had, like, a moment where he just fell through the floor <laughs> and grabbed Kevin instantly. Now I'm getting giant... Now we're getting Simpsons vibes again. How tough was the NES and SNES versions? The NES version is the hardest one by far, I would say. NES version of Home Alone 2 is quite difficult. SNES one is notably easier. This one, I would uh, wager, is somewhere in between. Come here. Yes! The door don't. Kevin? Kevin the door. Kevin? Kevin the door. Kevin? Oh, I had to be standing on top of the door to open it! Yeah, understood. No questions. No, no further questions. I understand.
All you need is an Eddie? That's Devon's channel. Yeah, I wonder if anyone in chat has all three of them. <laughs> oh, sudden music change during the cutscene. Hello, miss. Wow, she's actually animated in this one. Only in this version does she actually show up. What I can tell you, Arrow Will, is that there are three different streamers that all have one of the Eds as an emote. This is intentional. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's active while it's on the ground! Understood! Not the rats. Okay, okay, okay. Bomb's dangerous. Uncle Fester looks like he's got a bigger hitbox than before. I mean, I can't disagree with that, Cody. Any game that's got Joe Pesci's gotta be good. I know we have to jump up these bricks, but let's see what's all the way to our left first. Okay, let's... Let's actually climb these bad boys. You almost have them all. The third one belongs to Devon. Formerly Overlord Devon. <laughs> I would like to collect all the free items I can from this brick situation. Yeah, the brick patterns in this game are actually pretty... It, do it didn't seem as brutal. That's, well, that's been the vibe this whole, this whole Game Boy playthrough. Who overthrew Devon? Nobody, he just retired. Kevin? Kevin, there's a five up here. Oh, now it's a four. Kevin, what is this? I must collect them. Oh, it's cookies. Sure, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, pizza, no! I couldn't reach the pizza! I'm going back. I'm going back. I want that pizza. Question. Do you think Kevin could beat the Predator from Predator 2? Oh, easily. Easily. The Predator wouldn't stand a chance against Kevin with some prep time. Would not stand a chance. All right, Kevin, we just can't jump that high. Kevin, we don't got hops like that. Sorry, we got six lives anyway. Yeah, there might have been a bell somewhere that would give us some extra jump height. Maybe that's what we were missing. Oh, there's a bell. Monkey? Monkey, this is new! There wasn't a monkey here previously! Oh, Kaku, they would never, they would never give me a three-character username. That would absolutely never happen. 
I cannot attack the monkeys. I must simply juke round them. Do not feed the aminals, understood. Is that a goddamn hippopotamus shooting water at me? At least we can jump through these guys. Wait, there are cookies here. Eh! Oh, I can't believe we made that, Kevin! This stage seems wildly different than the other versions. They added a lot more to this stage in particular. I did not dodge that. And we lost our cool bell. On the other hand, Kevin goes very slow. This, this, boy, this boy is not very fast in this game. We are walking down the street. We're not running. Yeah, that's a lengthy stage. Now we're in the cave? Is this where Bird Lady is? What is this terrain? Eh. You never been to NYC? Is this what it's like? Yeah, it's exactly like this. Oh, I see. I can stand on these. Dare I take damage for the full pizza? I'll take that trade. Not the birds. Not the birds! Not Birdland! No! Uh! You got me. You got me fair and square. I'm not afraid to admit it. Did I kill the bird lady? No, she ran off. Yeah, we're gonna skip that pizza. We already have six lives, it's fine. There we go. Best friends. <laughs> no music! <laughs> he just- he jumped over it, he's a genius. Hey, I'll take that. Did he just... Did he just fall in? Did he just die? Okay, well, I guess he's dead now. Is it just me or are Kevin's pants enormous in this version of the game? I think that they are. That must be why he's so good at doing power slides. There doesn't seem to be anywhere to go. I feel like we're supposed to go into the house, yeah? But the up button don't do it. And the, any other button don't do it. And we can't seem to jump over to these. And there ain't no left. Let's see if we can go back down. I cannot go back down. Yeah, we gamed too hard as out it was? Oh, there we go. Okay. We just had to hold the button. New Nook. Sorry, New Nook. Sorry, New York. <laughs> New York. <laughs> hold on, he said one of those funny. Let me hear that again. Unok. Sorry, New Nook. Sorry, New York. New York. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, good. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Polar Bear. Why did he say it like that? We will truly never know. I do not have this key, okay. We're back to key collecting. 
for. We don't have the X key. We don't have any of the keys that we need. Let's see if this counts as dying. Okay, so yeah, we're back to not being able to fall here, then. That's okay. Oh, there's a key. Shit! I love that Marv and Harry are just, like, weird vampire... <laughs> just... Weird vampire sprites coming out of the ground. Yeah, they're just ghosts. They're, are they haunting the building? Ah, shit. I guess we already have the key, because it kept it when we left. The key did not respawn, so we must still have it. Down! Question is, then, where is, uh, where does our key go? Let's go down. Let's go down and see what's down. There's a C key. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I also suspect that the key goes in a lock of some sort. Using context clues, that's the most likely scenario. Aha! Okay. Now what? What have we got? Candle. Okay, the candle is dangerous to the touch. I should have known. I don't know why I assumed it wasn't dangerous to the touch. <laughs> I'm out of here, see you later. Not the ten ton weight! Yo, God is dumbass. <laughs> Yeah, that was the only that was the only hazard in the whole room we got hit by it. I I mean I touched it because I thought we were meant to collect it. I thought we were supposed to pick that bad boy up. That was not the case. Turns out fire indeed hot. The rumors are true. We don't have an R key or a J key. Let's figure out which ones we do have. Devon! Wow, is that the is that the owner of the other is that the owner of the other Ed Boy emote? Are all three of them in the same place? That's wild. Cookies, let's go. So we must have to go what? Upstairs? If there is an upstairs. Can't go in here. Let's go back downstairs. Thank you, Devon. They were the 43 whole years. We're playing Home Alone 2 at the moment. I don't recall Kevin using the slide to take anybody out. It would have been sick, though. Could you imagine the low profile on this button? Like, the active frames, the low profile would be the most godly button. Oh, Devon's got the full Ed Force. <laughs> He's got the full thing. I've never seen them gathered in the same place. Now, as I recall, <coughs> this game has a thing that we're supposed to fall in. There's like one pit that we are supposed to fall in. Maybe it's this one. This game does have one pit that the game, like, uh, makes you fall into. Let's see if it's this one. 
Indeed. How are you supposed to know that? You might be asking to yourself. Good fucking question, I reply. Uh. Alright, I got the key. <laughs> okay, got the key, that's a fair trade. You'd never find it in your first playthrough. I mean, you could. Just, you know, on accident, generally. Then you'd have to react fast enough to actually land on something. Bowling ball? Hello. Hello, friend. Can I roll you? What is the function of this? Am I meant to jump on you? Well, that don't seem to work. It just rolls. It just- it just rolls, that's what it does. It just rolls. <laughs> it just rolls! I know it's possible to hit, like, a precise pixel where you can grab this. I wonder if we can hit this on accident. It's possible that the game wants us to get, like, a bell. But you don't actually have to if you... Yeah, yeah, you do it just right and you don't actually need it. <laughs> you just do, like, a weird just frame jump. Ah! Well, there's Marv. Sinking like a brick! There he goes! Poor guy. He's dead. That was a long fall. I just gotta run down the street. Okay. Gotta knee slide every rat in New York. Every dog, every garbage can lid. Alright, we're back. We're back to the end. No, I want this gun, though. Thank you. <laughs> this music is weirdly intense. Alright. Pigeon lady. Pigeon lady's gonna have to... Pigeon Lady's gonna have to help out. Where are they at? Okay, 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 just give me another one. At least they only attack one at a time. Probably due to some kind of a Game Boy limitation. Oh no, I can't hit him! He's too good! Eh. He has some really, this is some good human type music right here. There we go, we got him. Yeah, that is definitely 88 fingers, Edward, banging out the tunes. Yeah, we did! Alright, that's all three versions of the Imagineering Home Alone 2 game. There's some very good faces. You should have saw the SNES faces. They were very odd. <laughs> oh my god, you're right! The dude on the left's neck! You know, this might be the best jail scene of the three.
No, actually, DT, what happened is I just straight up forgot. <laughs> I just forgot to upload it. Congratulations, and thanks for playing. Capital T, capital P. Capital F as well. This is like three different fonts on one screen. Really big, massive Kevin, yeah. The sticky bandits are dead, but their arms are still out. They died with their arms up. Kevin's flipping us off. He might be, I can't really tell. Oh, well, there it goes. Did the Game Boy turn off? What happened? Does the game... Are, is this just where we live? The game just turns off afterwards? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the game just... The game just stops once you beat it. It just... <laughs> turn off your Game Boy, Snake. The mission is over. Can't believe it. That has to be all the Home Alone 2 games? Not hardly, friend. Would you believe that the the reason that we played the Game Boy version third is because the Game Boy version, and only the Game Boy version, had a supposed sequel that was uh, unreleased? How about oh we take gosh. a How about we take a look at this alleged sequel to the Game Boy Home Alone Two, shall we? How about we take a look at Home Alone Two, Kevin's Let's Dream. Go. Take a look at Home Alone Two. Two. This is an unreleased video game. This game was cancelled. This is, that's the wrong one. That's the same ass game I just booted up. There we go. Ollie. I made this up? No, friend. A dud. Yeah, forbidden games. So despite this game being cancelled, it was still finished. The game is playable from start to finish. This is made by unexpected development. It's not even Imagineering. So this version of the game got cancelled. They reskinned this game to be uh, based on Bobby's World, which absolutely nobody remembers. And then the Bobby's World Game Boy game also got cancelled. Although Bobby's World still got a SNES game, I think. Oh, he's sleeping! To the sky. He's dreaming about airplanes. There we go. Look at him go. We've collected some anvils. We have to weigh down the sticky bandits. With these anvils, they're going to try to chase after us. There are five more objects we need to collect. Yeah, he's still shirtless. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's Harry! There he goes. <laughs> Nightmare Harry, just you wait. <laughs> Can I damage boost into this? Oh, bless. I didn't want to grab that the normal way. I was just damage boost. The black storm clouds. It's raining cats and dogs! That's okay. How do I reach that is the question. Ah, uh, I see. I see, I see. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very meandering music. Yeah, the music is pretty... I mean, it's not as drunk as it was in the... In, like, the NES version, for example. But it's still relatively drunk. Okay, so we need to collect two more of those kites. We cannot make any progress until we have collected them all. Oh, I see. Ah, I see, I see, I gotcha, understood, video game. Hold this, thank you. Oh, I can't jump on those. Ooh! I don't know if, I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to reach this. <laughs> Wait a minute, can I skip collecting the last one? Eh. I feel like I might be able to skip collecting the fifth object. It looked like it was letting me get away with it. Alright, fair enough. We definitely latched onto it briefly, but then we couldn't go anywhere from there. Where is the fifth object, then? We'll have to look for it. Not every stage has us looking for things. Some stages are straightforward. Go to the end. Aha! There you are. Yeah, we have absolutely zero score. We have not been rewarded for anything we've done so far. Yeah, he's throwing tiny anvils to weigh them down, you see. How do you climb, Kevin? You're telling me... You're telling me I have to hit down to latch on to this and not up? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. That makes sense. Is this Harry? Is this Harry or Marv? I can't tell. Which one? Which of the bandits is this? <laughs> is this Tim Curry? Who is this? I think this is Harry, yeah. God, his ass. All right. And then he's off to the next dream. What are we dreaming of next, Kevin McAllister? Oh, boy. It's clowns. Perfect. Just what I always wanted. Okay, we're collecting balloons this time. I am truly... I am truly blinded by this, like, checker pattern. Balloon! You don't like the clown dimension? Well, buckle up, buckaroo. We're already in it. Okay, I see another balloon. Is that a popsicle? The bouncer. Balloon. Yeah, the background, it's mostly this checker pattern. The checker pattern at the top of the screen is like really hard Balloon. to look at. There's something nauseating about it. Yo, 160p is at the strat? 
Does this look better in 160p? <laughs> friendly lion. Maybe it's friendly. Oh no. My projectile does nothing. Okay, I have every balloon. Not the monkey. That's a good question. Hello, Harold. Yeah, the monkey looks like it was uh, like a completely different artist made that monkey. That's the impression I get. It doesn't have an outline. It doesn't look like anything else we've seen so far. Woo! Oh no, he's too short! Okay. Shoutouts to every video game where your main form of attack is throwing a projectile in a lazy arc that most enemies can walk under with almost no problem. Yeah. And by shoutouts, I mean what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop this, it. this is very much one of those games. Whoa! Thank you, Simon, for the 100 lazy arcs. You are correct. Did I get him? Harry D. Clown. We got Harry D. Clown. Where are we going next? We're going to space! I think he was barfing bombs, yeah. Ooh, animated background. That sound is straight out of Bart versus the Space Mutants. Oh, it scrolls downward. Hold on a second. Let me see if there's like a... Yeah, this whole game's got human-type music. Wait, there's low gravity here! Shit! That's alright, we only had one heart anyway. Thank God clowns don't exist on the moon. Somebody's never seen killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> oh, you have to push him into the lava? Oh, I see. Gotta push him into the moon lava, of course. The obvious solution to that problem. Ooh, nice aim. Okay. Harry! Can I push you into this? Maybe he'll just walk into it. Ugh. Well, I mean, he did walk into it, but we also took a hit. Oh, God, another one! Uh, shit! Oh, no. Okay. It's going okay. So you just gotta, you just kinda have to use a bunch of your resources to deal with this. Okay. We need three more shiny rocks. I'm not sure the exact function of the shiny rocks. This game is struggling to run right now. The game is chugging. You've never seen a Game Boy game chug so hard. Okay. Okay. 
It's kryptonite? I believe it. I believe that. Okay, so you don't even get back up from there. Noted. So there's like two or three... Two or three shiny rocks we can get here. Underground, and then the rest are presumably above ground. Unless they're just impossible to find in this green hellscape. <laughs> okay, there we go. It is possible to jump over him. He's a very short lad. Oh no, he turned! There should be another Marv here, yeah? Okay. The Marv clones on the moon. Fucking moon Marv. Oh, I actually prefer it pea soup green to uh, black and white. I know that some people prefer the... I know some people prefer their, like, Game Boy games to be in black and white, and that's fine, but... Personally, I've never had a Game Boy that wasn't green. <laughs> so there must be... I'm still missing three of them. They must be around... Ah, shit. Okay, there was one. Maybe we should get that one first. Maybe we should get the ones above ground first. possible to get caught on the ceiling that is valuable information. Your jumps at the top of the screen are not necessarily as safe as they appear! Okay. The only... I generally have no problem with what we're seeing here, but there is some... Oh my god, did I just get him eaten by, like, a man-eating plant? Oh my goodness. The only thing that's odd about this game is there's, like, a half-second-ish of input lag. You can probably tell just by looking at it there that there's a little bit of input lag on this bad boy. There's a little bit. There's a... <laughs> it chugs a bit. Okay, so the other two are underground. Let's go get those. So we're figuring it out. Ah! There's too much graphics going on. An overwhelming abundance of graphics. Okay, so you don't turn around, huh? Marv never learned how to turn? Is he just gonna... He's gonna walk... Is he gonna walk to his doom? Is he... Okay. There he goes. Yeah, we're on the moon! Why, you don't remember that scene? Uh-oh.
Now, how to get back to the end of the stage safely? Eh? Uh -huh. Eh? It's a very dangerous game we're playing. A good perspective on those cracks, I agree. There you go. Oh, he, he didn't get eaten by the man-eating plant. Oh, but we did. We pushed him right past, and then he didn't get eaten, but we got eaten. I understand. I'm picking up what you're putting down, video game. I'm adapting to your schemes. Yeah, how did Kevin's parents leave him on the moon? That seems incredibly negligent. Oh no. These rock patterns. I'm getting schmixed. Fuck! Okay, well, at least we got it. <laughs> this is definitely the hardest stage so far. We'll see if they get any gnarlier as we go. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if this turns into an impossible game for aliens by the end. Oh, that respawned. That's quite nice of them. Definitely need that to survive. So there are two of these we're missing on the surface, and there's one by the very, very end. this. Get the health. There is no safe place to stand anywhere. <laughs> That's what I've learned. You cannot stand anywhere. Ah, shit. You can't jump anywhere, either. You're in immense danger. Okay. So the other two must have been along the way. Ah, shit. The problem with these, like, moving rocks is that they don't go as far as I... as I think that they're going to. <laughs> they do, like, the most half-assed pattern. They stop short on the left side. I keep falling for it. <laughs> That's okay. Once we get off the moon, we're home free. Presumably. What's up, Marty? Welcome to Home Alone in Space. Home Alone in Space, question mark? Can't believe we just cleared Harry just now. Oh, no. It's never been easier to get hit in a game than this one.
the respawning enemy situation doesn't help matters much. Damn, he's good. Aha! Okay. <laughs> the platform stays so far to the left. These jumps are impossible. Oh, no. All right. You got me. Yeah, it's not an unpredictable enemy pattern. It's more just that when you're dealing with that enemy pattern, you also have to account for like a half second of input delay when you throw a rock at him. This makes these shots more tricky than they ought to be. We almost got eaten by a plant just now. Home Alone, the space memories. Could you imagine if Hyde Lied 3 had Kevin McAllister in it? Be the most ultimate class in the whole game. Okay. Now all we have to do is go all the way back underground, collect the other two, and then run back. How hard could that be? Streamer says, knowing full well how badly he's about to get cooked. Oh, no. I'm out of rocks. We're fresh out of stones to throw. I have acquired stones to throw. What's Kevin? What is a Kevin to do without his beloved knee slide ability? He just crouches like a normal guy. Unbelievable. I can't believe we landed that jump. <laughs> Not my Kevin. Tell me about it. Now, Bob, I can tell you're being facetious. But what I can tell you is that Hyde Light is much better than the internet would have you believe. Oh. I got got. I got got. I got super got. Alright, run it back. I mean, we're only like three stages in. Dino Pulse Zeta, have you played Hide Light out of curiosity? Damage boost, yes sir. So the first two stages are fairly trivial compared to the monolith of death that is this fucking space stage. Not sure why feathers are health in this particular case. Even the healing item changes per stage. Wah! There's a death pit. <laughs> there was a death pit on the first stage. All right, let's back that up. If we die on stage one, we can just run it back. I've played all of the hide lights on stream, Kaku. We did an entire hide light week. We played all four of them. Spoiler alert, they're all pretty good, actually. <laughs> Oh, 
Ow. We're starting to get cooked by the game. Now we have to adapt to regular gravity, because we had low gravity for the space stage. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised that the game that was cancelled is the most difficult so far. Maybe there is a correlation here. Maybe, just maybe, <laughs> there is a correlation of some sort. How complete is the game? It's completable! You can play it from start to finish. There is an ending and everything, or at least a screen that says the end. the last kite. How do I reach it? Is it never released? I couldn't tell you. I wasn't there at the time. <laughs> okay, so there's another... There's another, like, flying creature that we're gonna have to latch onto to reach that. Ah, shit. Fair enough. Trying to get back to my left. That was no good. That's no good. Yo, what's up, DZ? Welcome to the welcome to Forbidden Home Alone games that didn't actually come out. Oh no. Oh no, we botched the first jump. We're getting worse at this game as we play it. We're not getting better. We're actually progressing backwards. Bibiano beats. Thank you for 31 whole years. Not to my knowledge, Draymark. But I am not... I don't have encyclopedic knowledge of Home Alone. Just gonna damage boost this one. Oh no, my damage boost didn't work. This is a disaster. There we go. What? Hey! As a fortuitous drop, that could have been so much worse. It is raining cats and dogs, you are correct. There's that kite. We got a hoo, and then we got a hoo. Okay. I can't see to my right. Hope I don't die. Okay. <laughs> At least the boss fights are simple. Even if the stages are labyrinthine hellscapes full of all full of all manner of beast that which to kill Macaulay Culkin. At least the boss fights are comparatively simple. That's good. This is not in the movie, no. It'd be a much better movie, if so. Back to Clown Town. I regret to inform you, we are back in Clown Town. Balloons on this stage are just seemingly placed about wherever the fuck. Yeah, there's just one along the way. <laughs> it's just... 
just in case you had been sticking to the top of the stage, we'll put one on the bottom just to make sure you miss one. Exactly, Raycat. This checkerboard pattern is truly blinding. There's another balloon. The stage is easier than the first one, actually, because I don't know if there's any, like, way to die on this stage. I don't know if there's a pit. I don't know if there's a single death pit on this stage. There are monkeys. There are clowns! I did not nail that jump. So we still got two hearts. Harry D. Clown, let's fly back up to him. Okay. It sounds like these are hitting. Okay, you can hit him while he's off screen. <laughs> he does not need to be on screen for you to hit him. Understood. Ah, shit. The rules of the game change once you're on this stage. Jumps feel weird. The frame rate starts to dip. Yeah, we don't get healed in between stages either. That's okay. Oh, they're getting so much mileage out of the sleeping Kevin screen. You're gonna see it in between every stage. Yeah, you have to incinerate the wet bandits. You have to push them into the lava where they just explode. There he goes. That jump isn't hard enough to make normally. We have to put, like, a contingency fireball there as well. Alright, fair enough. Happy to survive any jumps we take underground. If we can get out of the first bit with full health, I'd be pretty happy with that. We gotta go back above ground, we gotta get the other ones. There's two down here, three up top, let's get out. The underground part of the map is definitely more dangerous, just because you've got to worry about these lava fountains. Constantly spewing lava every which way. Oh no. There's still a few of them above ground, too. I can't believe Harry's dead! I can't believe we got killed by that guy. There were so many ways not to get killed by him. <laughs> we chose none of them. Sorry, we know the route. We got the crit path now. Yeah, we got out zoned. We have a very small hitbox on our rocks, I think. I think the hitbox is the exact shape of the actual rock. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. So let me get up here, where it's nice and safe. Yeah, they don't die on this stage. You just keep hitting them. All they do is get pushed around. And you can't jump over Marv, either. He's too tall. I'm out of rocks. We're fresh out of rocks. 
This is a this is a dire situation. Okay, I have more rocks. It's not it's no longer as dire as before. Oh no. <laughs> Even if you make the jump, there's still something else you have to deal with. Why is he space? What do you mean? It's Home Alone. What do you mean? Home Alone's always been in space. It's post-war <laughs> New York. <laughs> That's a much more fun storyline to imagine, actually. I like your idea better. Ah, shit. Yeah, I saw once we missed him that first time, I'm like, there's no way the game's gonna allow us a second chance. If you piss in space, does it float? I would assume so. All the other water floats. I don't think piss would be affected by gravity any differently than any other liquid. Nice. We should probably leave that there for later, when things inevitably go bad. There we go. Let's... I think we're gonna go back like this. We're gonna take the underground route all the way back to the beginning. That way we can do the top part uh, the normal way instead of backwards. Should be a little bit safer. Ah, shit, we took two hits, though. That's not good. Take that. No, it's not a very civilized game, I would say. The game is mostly made difficult, I would say, by the absurd, like, input lag that you have to wrestle with at all times. Most people are familiar with Game Boy games that don't run so good. Like, if you've ever played Game Boy Mortal Kombat, you know what it feels like to press a button and then you see it come out, like, a full second later. This kinda has that to some extent. Not quite as bad as Mortal Kombat, but it does we got a little bit of that going on. <laughs> Unsupervised Yo, child! This five dollars go buy some game. My babysitter is dead or I bought a house with a blank check or my family left me somewhere and it's the nineteen nineties. <laughs> help. Uh, thank you for the five dollar he dues, unsupervised child. What is this Marvin? Why does Marv have a hairy... Oh god, I don't like it! Oh, I don't like it! Oh no! It's walking towards me, no! <laughs> I'm not feeling good about it. Not feeling good about the sticky xenomorphs, actually. It's okay, he's got an easy pattern. What's that thing? It's the Sticky Bandits, what do you mean? It's both of them. Oh, and he's getting faster! It's fine, it's fine, everything's under control. The hard part of the stage is over. Cool, cool, cool. 
Where to next, Kevin? What fresh hellscape have you for us next? Yeah, I see. 70 bits. Oh, boy. Thank you for the 70 nightmares. Oh, boy. Okay, we have regular gravity again. There's no objects to collect. It says zero more. The question is... The question is, why was this... Why is this what was in... Why is this in Kevin's brain space? Why... These are Kevin's dreams, are they? This is what he's dreaming of? Ah, shit. You got me fair and square. Why are these Kevin's dreams? <laughs> yeah, we got a clock tower stage. That's a good point, Raycat. Oh no. <laughs> NASA! Yo! It's five dollars, go buy some game. Now you know why we never went back to the moon. Fucking weird ass human moon creatures up there. Yeah. You can keep it. You know, it all makes sense, actually. Does that all tracks? Thank you, NASA, for the five dollar reduce. I hadn't considered it, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh-oh. I think we're supposed to wait for the next one there. I think that first one's a bait, yeah? It's gotta be. A clock tower stage. I can't wait for Kevin McAllister to drop a bucket full of holy water on Death's head while also making him slip on consecrated banana peels. <laughs> consecrated banana peels. That would be so good, though. Thank you, Simon, for the 100 bits. So what I've learned so far is that the most difficult Home Alone game ever made is the cancelled Game Boy one. Because we gotta wrestle with input lag the whole time. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Would I play something on real Game Boy these days? What do you mean? Like, like would I play a Game Boy game that I didn't emulate? Yeah, why not? Oh, hello. Hello, friend. <laughs> is, is that Mecha Marv? Is, is that Mecha Marv? This game's good, actually. Wait, this game's sick. <laughs> the best game. This is the best one. Never in my life did I think I'd see Mecha Marv from Home Alone. That is a spring, understood. You want me to jump over him, I assume. Okay. Gotcha. Understood. Not feeling particularly safe. Feeling like it's incredibly easy to die in this game. Yeah, no weapons on this stage, it's just straight platforming. <laughs> yeah, 
You Mecha Marv. I'm flabbergasted by Mecha Marv. Okay, now we have a weapon for the boss fight. <laughs> the Mecha Bandits! <laughs> Yeah, Mecha Joe Pesci? This might be the only game to have a Mecha version of Joe Pesci in it. This Moonwalker did it? I, I think you might be right, actually. Got him. Hey, we got another extra life? Where to next? Mysterious box. Uh-oh. Where are we now, Kevin? What are your... what are you dreaming of, Kevin? Why are these your dreams, Kevin McAllister? <gasps> this game's amazing. I take it all back. This is the best Home Alone game. This is the best one. This game is almost unplayable because of, like, <laughs> the game running bad and also input lag on top of that, but conceptually, it's the best one. Why is he walking on the ceiling? This game's terrifying. Yeah, early survival horror. We got the eyeballs in the background. We got the nice eyeball wall. That's pretty good. Oh, thank God we landed on something. <laughs> yeah, surely that's all this game is, is just Kevin McAllister needs therapy. This is just how it manifests. Not the teeth room over there. Oh, no. Okay, the teeth are not harmful. <laughs> yes, sir, your pants. It's fine. I bet Joe Pesci can actually walk on ceilings, it's just nobody ever asked him if he could. I bet he totally could. Oh shit, we got caught on geometry! Eh, there we go. The stage doesn't seem as dangerous as some of the previous ones. Okay. I feel like I'm meant to jump over those. What is that? <laughs> oh my god, this game is sick. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Okay, no, I see it. The eyeball opens. We gotta hit the eyeball in the middle when it opens. I- I got you. I understand. Dude, this game is so cool! You don't remember this scene in the movie? What do you mean? There's a classic scene when- The a classic scene when Harry and Marv merged into some kind of weird alien creature.
You're having nightmares tonight? I think that was the objective of the game, honestly. I bet that was the goal. No. Alright, at least he follows a clear pattern. He's following a... He's following a clear pattern. <laughs> okay. Predictable. It's making you want to play Weird Dreams. That is one of the coolest... I assume it was for more things than just Amiga, but I know it as an Amiga game. That is, like, one of the coolest concepts of a game I've seen. It's a shame it's completely impossible to play, but it's a very cool concept. Yeah, he's getting faster. Oh, I got him! Let's go! I think we beat the game. Yes, you win! Yes! Woof! That was a trip. That was the craziest, that was the nuttiest Home Alone game we've seen. Yeah, he's so happy to be awake. I, I mean, yeah. He doesn't have to dream about that shit anymore. Yeah, New York wasn't even in this game. But we did play it because it was, in fact, a Home Alone 2 game. Somehow. According to the title screen, this is, in fact, Home Alone 2. It's definitely not, but it's in the title. <laughs> Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Alex, thank you for the follow. Take us back to the clown dimension. All right, you got it. Loop two. Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, let's see. How about we play... There's a couple more. There's a couple more Home Alone 2s. Let's play the really short one. There's a very, very short... Home Alone, uh, Home Alone 2 for ye old MS DOS. Let's boot up some fucking DOS Home Alone 2, baby. Uh, copy, paste. Home Alone 2, back to Lost in New York. Capstone. Oh! Turn that down. Turn down those DOS noises right now. Freddy Krueger! Marry me with my money. I just want to set the record straight. I didn't have anything to do with that kid's nightmares. I couldn't come up with half of that shit. <laughs> the Plaza Hotel, New York's most exciting hotel experience. Thank you, Freddy Krueger, for the dollar he'd do. This is a very short game. Uh, if things go well, we'll be done in a jiffy. This is like a 10 minute game when things go well. Oh, Duncan's toy chest. Use arrow keys to select difficulty. I'll just leave it on normal, please. Oh, I have to move my... Get ready. I gotta move my keyboard over so that I can play this on the arrow keys comfortably. Okay, so the entire premise of this game is that the whole time we're running from the the Sticky Bandits, we're running from them the entire game. We can collect things. We can collect objects to throw back at them. We should be able to collect a uh, should be able to collect these nanners. Uh, let me see. What's the button for collecting? There it is. So we walk into certain objects, we can pick them up, we can throw them back like this. And this is how the entire game is played. We just run from them, we allow them to run into things. 
like the skater or the bike. They'll just bump into shit, they'll get slowed down. Basically, we're just trying to make sure they never reach us, because Kevin only has one hit point. He dies if he gets touched. We're just trying our absolute best to never get caught. And we're gonna collect things along the way. Yeah, this MIDI music, it's pretty good. Alright. Drop the plants, yes! He didn't trip on the boat. out! No! That's okay, I got two nanners! Huh! Huh! Sody pop! Okay. Uh oh. We got three rolls of toilet paper, we're doing okay. You can see how many items we have at the bottom of the screen. We got to the end of that stage, no problem. Drop the ice, grab the soda. Yeah, this reminds you of the Juggernaut chase scene. That This is pretty much the entire game. This is the whole game is what we're doing. I think it's like 13 or 14 levels, as they call it at the bottom of the screen. They're not particularly long, either. This is a very short game. But then again, the first game was also very short. I think we played Home Alone 1 for the Amiga. I am stuck. I'm stuck on this pillar. There we go. We played Home Alone 1 for the Amiga last year. And that was an equally short game, but we ended up spending like an hour on it because it was impossible. This game is much easier, and it's a lot shorter, too. let them run into everybody. Harry bumped into a tree. We gotta jump over the car! Yes! <laughs> this game is sick. I mean, we have so many items at this point that we won't have to do much other than try and run in a straight line. Drop shit on the ground. Got so many nanners right now. There we go. We got to the end of that stage. No problem. Yeah, this MIDI is going crazy hard. I don't think I have a sound blaster set up on DOSBox. So potentially this could sound... Potentially this could sound a little bit better. <laughs> There we go, we're in Duncan's toy box, it's real! Harry? Okay. <laughs> I can't seem to hit Harry, he's too good. Drop the skateboards. Drop all the toys on the ground, just let them trip on that shit. Yeah, no sound effects in this game. I think that was also true of the Amiga one, like the, the first one that this is based on. Fire extinguisher. He no-sold the fire extinguisher! That's okay. Just gonna keep running. Toilet paper. Get TP'd, idiot. Yeah, we're already on level 7. This is an incredibly short game. Uh oh. Oh, I'm stuck on geometry. <laughs> yeah, we got caught! You gotta make sure that you- you gotta make sure Kevin doesn't get stuck on any objects at all, because if he gets stuck on something, it's very hard to get him unstuck. For whatever reason, Okay. We still have five objects left. They're getting more aggressive, though. They start to- they- they start chasing you as soon as stages begin at this point. I don't know if anyone's ripped this OST. 
I don't know if anyone deemed it worth it. But this MIDI is going super hard. Nanner. Okay. We're back up to three lives. We must have gotten one on score. But we only have three we only have three objects left. We're running out of traps to use. Ah, yes, we're in the house now. Drop the paint. We want to try and use as many free traps as we can. The ones that are just kind of there in the environment already. We just got to hit the button. Kevin, thank you. While grabbing whatever we can. So the house is the end of the game. All we gotta do is get to the end of these uh, house bits. Collect as many extra supplies as we can. Oh, they both got caught on the same thing! You're about to witness Kevin run into a dead end and still trigger the next part. <laughs> We don't use the stairs, we walk into the dead end and it counts. We go drop the tools on the ground. Try and get as much mileage out of our free shit as we can. Anything that can be activated without us manually throwing it. Back up to five tools. It's not terrible. I don't know how many we're gonna need for the end. If we can stockpile like a full bar, that'd be just fine. Okay, we got a good stockpile. Yeah, the fantasy wall! Okay. Now we're to the roof. ladder to go down, and then this is the last screen of the game. Once we get down this ladder, we have to keep running <laughs> at street level, and this is the last thing of the game. Alright. One last stage. We should have more than enough shit. It's not gonna matter. Yeah, the scrolling is hyper-smooth, I agree. Kevin, you are stuck on geometry. Alright, fair enough. Let's try that again. Let's stay- we're gonna stay at the very bottom, I suppose. That way we can minimize the chance that we get snagged on anything. I don't think they put any hazards all the way at the bottom. these frame rates we're achieving. If anything, it feels like it's starting to chug more. You want to see how this game ends? It ends like that. It just says, congrats, you win. <laughs> That's all you get. Oh, this tune. Yeah, this tunage is pretty good. Enter my initials. Oh! Those aren't my initials. I've lied to you. Nice high score table. Level two? That's a pretty good attempt. Yeah, he's not lost anymore. Good for him. So that's MS-DOS uh, Home Alone 2. It's one of the shortest games I've ever played, I think. It's an incredibly short game. Do I want to play again? Nah, I'm good. What's it like on hard? I think maybe they run slightly faster. Otherwise, it's not that different. Maybe they run slightly faster.
No, I do not want to play again. Way to go, Kevin! <laughs> That's what it says when you turn the game off. This way to go, Kevin! Thank, thank you. Bad file name. It does not know the command, thank. That's okay. <laughs> the soundtrack is on YouTube? Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. There is one other version of Home Alone 2 that I'd like to get to today. That is, of course, the Sega Genesis version. Who dares? Retro Pals! Thank you for the raid, Retro Pals. We're in the middle. We're in the middle of a Home Alone 2 stream. We've been playing a lot of different versions of Home Alone 2. Including the cancelled Game Boy one that had Mecha Marv. But having done all those, we're just gonna we're just gonna play the Genesis one. That's the only other version that I've got lined up today. So let's play some Genesis Home Alone 2, shall we? Thank you so much for the raid. What were they up to? What were the retro pals up to? Yeah, Mecha Marv is real. Turn that up. Yeah, yeah, turn that up. CDI Bible games. Oh, I gotta watch that VOD. I have a VOD to watch. Uh, <laughs> turn the music off. No, uh, special fire. Give me, can I get jump on B? Fire on A, thank you, that'll do. Three button game. Put me in, coach. My family's in Florida, and I'm in New York! I can't believe it, he's lost in New York, TM! Oh, that's it, that was the whole lore? Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready! We're already killing people at the airport. Oh my god. The frame rate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I've never played a game this smooth. What's up with that? Why? That's a slingshot. So the way that this game works is there are weapons that are craftable at the bottom of the screen. And they require us to collect all the correct parts. So right now we have a baseball. Baseball is our weapon. It's the weakest weapon in the game, I think. And so we still need to collect the string for the slingshot, and we need to collect ammunition. There's the string right there, you can see it flashing. And now only the, uh, the ammunition is flashing. So once you collect all the pieces of a weapon, you can just use it. Yeah, there's the, there's the bag of ammo. So once we collect this, we should be able to use the slingshot, that's our new weapon. Much higher rate of fire. Must collect all the Christmas presents. This is gonna be a good Christmas! Damn, he's good. The question, I suppose, is why does Kevin feel the need to... ...kill all these businessmen? Why do the businessmen deal damage on contact is my first question. My second question is why do they... <laughs> why does Kevin want them dead? I didn't have to shoot that guy. That seemed like a nice guy. We didn't have to shoot him. So now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there's a bazooka weapon that we can make. Here's the tube for it right here. Here's the bazooka tube. Yeah, we've got very drunk music at this point. Airport security. I will kill all the airport security. There's the spring for the bazooka. Where's the other part of it? We're missing one aspect of this weapon. There it is, it's up there. 
Oh, <gasps> pizza in a box. There we go, we got a Zooker. Oh, Harry! It's alright, we have a better, we have a good enough weapon. We can just we just shoot the fuck out of him. Not a problem. <laughs> Every time we hit him, he's gotta wipe it off his face. Poor guy. Now I feel bad. Alright, he's dead. They took themselves out. We didn't even participate in that. Oh no! I'm in the land of lost luggage! I hope I can find my mom's red flight bag and get out of here! Indeed. Ah, oh, there's the first part of the slingshot. We lose our weapons after each stage, unfortunately. We have to craft our weapons anew. Incredibly Genesis audio right here. This was made by Sega of America, which might explain a few things. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. I need that string. Ah, there's like a teleport tube that we keep falling in. That's what's happening. Understood. I'll take that trade. Give me that pizza. So we still need the ammo for the slingshot. Let's hope that's over here somewhere. Not the suitcase! There it is. Okay, slingshot get better weapon get... The baseball is fine. It's not a bad weapon. It just has way too much startup. You cannot really fire it rapidly because of it. Oh, there's a new weapon that we can almost craft. We need a few more parts. Oh no, there's Harry! Oh no. <laughs> Good voice sample, though. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Oh, there's another piece! I'm gonna light him up once I make this weapon. Kevin's got a pretty detailed climb animation, too. There we go. I don't even know what this is I just crafted. All I know is it's potent. It's a Goss Cannon, it must be. It's the only explanation. Yeah, there's crafting. To be fair, so did the Genesis version of Home Alone 1. It had like a straight up collect materials for weapons and craft guns out of them system. This game goes more the traditional platformer route, which is fine, but it's a little less in-depth. I'm liking his, his, like, animations in general. Kevin is animated quite well. Oh, there's the red flight bag we were told to find. Yeah, they did. They put some bounce in that hair. <laughs> I like that we just get to see them wipe each other out. All I have to do is get across town to the most fabulous place in the world. Duncan's Toy Chest. Duncan's Toy Chest does make an appearance. 
Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Cloud Circus, thank you for the follow. Gotta watch out for the icicles. They're quite difficult to see. Is this the best Home Alone 2 game? I would say... Probably, yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's easily the most civilized one. That goes without saying. Oh my god, I killed two cats. What did we just make? We just made, like, a crossbow. We just made, like, a plunger crossbow. There is one thing to keep in mind. And that's that if you get command grabbed by Harry or Marv, they usually break your weapon. And you'll be back to your default. So it's important not to get command grabbed by the, by the sticky bandits. <laughs> Who dares? Sam Sony, CEO of Sony. Samuel Sony, I can't believe it. Obviously, the best version of Home Alone 1 is on the almighty PlayStation. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I spoke wildly out of turn. Whoa! Slippery! Whoa! Okay. I did not nail that jump the way I envisioned it in my head. That's okay. These icicles are very easy to forget about. Okay. Ah, shit. We have to grab that ring, but it's a pretty precise... It's a pretty precise spot we gotta land. There we go. Did I play the Street Fighter 6 beta? No, I didn't even... I didn't sign up for either of them. My stance on betas is... Ah, oh, fuck, I accidentally went the wrong way. My stance on betas is that usually I use them to determine whether or not I'm going to buy a game. And I already know I'm going to buy Street Fighter 6. So I haven't really felt the need. Who's my Street Fighter main? That depends on which game we're talking about. In Super Turbo, it's Vega. In Ultra Street Fighter 4, it's Relento. In Alpha 3, it's Sakura. <laughs> I try not to pick the same character. Get in underneath this water, yeah. Marv! You mean there's Home Alone for the PlayStation 2? Can I get a copy of that game, too? Maybe they can even make a port of Home Alone 2? Could you imagine if the PAL PS2 Home Alone game got a sequel? Could you imagine if that game just, like, massively popped off? We have seven lives. We're doing quite well for ourselves. Who's the most jobber Street Fighter character? I, uh, I, I, I guess it's Dan, but Dan was also pretty good in the Street Fighter V. That was the best they ever made him. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.
that's not the end of the stage. Oh, we probably have to go all the way to the right, but on ground level, I assume, yeah. Oh, it's Marv! They're not actually that hard to kill as long as you have any weapon that's not your default one. As long as you've crafted any weapons whatsoever, you can just you can just mash. <laughs> no burglars are gonna be dumb enough to rob a toy store. Except us, hey Harry! <laughs> All right, Duncan's toy chest. What is this gun that they're trying to get us to make at the bottom of the screen? Is this like a pie launcher? I'd like to find the pieces of the pie launcher. There's one piece. Oh no, this is a different weapon entirely. That's like a bazooka we just collected a piece of. Once we made enough forward progress, it switched. Which means the pie launcher must be craftable via things we can find earlier on, somehow. Maybe we have to kill enemies to get parts. Or maybe not. Or maybe there ain't shit over here, and the game is lying to us. I'm liking Kevin's slide animation, it's very strong. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready! Tato time, thank you for the follow. He never got divorced, Dino Pulsata. <laughs> what you have just claimed did not happen. Oh, there's the spring! I need that! Okay, so we still need the ammunition for it. How to... how to get out of this predicament. Here we go. Aha! There we go! Okay, we got a bazooka again! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. That didn't go quite the way I envisioned it going. <laughs> Feels like the Wayne's World game, you know? I agree. I agree, actually. Speaking of Street Fighter Alpha, Dino, have you seen Street Fighter Zero Three Mix? Yes. It makes a ton of changes that make it into an actually good fighting game, according to people who hated the original Alpha Three All right, Zero I'm, Three. I'm glad you added that parenthetical because I was about to roast you for claiming that Alpha Three was bad, but you saved it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've heard of it. It looks cool. I like some of the things that they added to it. So what it seems like we have to do is land in a spot where we can jump over that tube that sucks us back upwards somehow. We have to descend in such a way that we can get past that point. How is that done exactly? Let's figure that out. No one said Duncan's toy chest would be a breeze to navigate! Okay. And then what? And where do we go from here, Kevin? Eh? Eh? There's the arrow. Ah, I see. Huh! Ah, okay, we're past the Tube of Doom! Now it's telling us we can make another pie launcher. Over this away somewhere. Oh no, we're getting hit by everything! I've approached a difficulty spike! Am 
At least we have hot Toy Star jams to accompany us in this trying time. Oh, it's impossible to get up there without immediately eating shit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Street Fighter won the most balanced game in the universe. That was true until somebody made a hack that lets you play as anyone. And it's no longer the most balanced game anymore. Now that the other characters are all playable. Who knew that navigating Tinker Toys would be such... such a shit show? It's easily more balanced than Human Killing Machine. That game is not remotely balanced. What? Not the clown box! Oh no. Okay, it's fine. Thankfully, the enemies don't respawn as we retreat from them. Okay, this is bouncy. I can't see where I'm landing, Captain. Oh, I'm trying to descend! Gotcha. The bouncer. I'm gonna be sick! Okay, it's fine. There's a pie. Where's the rest of the pie launcher? <laughs> We've only found one part of it. I have a feeling we're not going to construct the pie launcher. Yeah, you'd think we could just throw the pie. That makes the most sense to me, and yet... Where does this go? Kevin, let's find out. Oh no, there's both of them! Oh no, he broke my gun! Oh, I don't want to fight them with regular footballs. No! Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. It's a ruthless stage. I can't believe Kevin is dead. At least that bazooka is easy to make, but we need to not get grabbed by them at the end of the stage. No, there's no checkpoints in this game, I don't think. The stages are generally short enough not to require them. We just happened to spend a good chunk of time lost. I missed one part of the bazooka. I have missed a component of it back up here somewhere. Let's try and find it. Why does it look like his face is on fire? His portrait in the corner is very unflattering. It's not the most flattering look for our boy Kevin. Okay. Ah, there's the spring. Okay, cool. We got our bazooka back. 
We still have to avoid that tube that drags us upwards. That seems to be the big gimmick of this section. I have to figure out how to land in a spot that <laughs> allows this to happen. Ah, shit. Meanwhile, we gotta fight off these weird, like, flying... <laughs> flying boxing glove helicopters? I don't know whose invention this is. Questions best left to the great minds at Sega of America, I suppose. Okay. Maybe the tech is just to gun it, right? Maybe the longer you linger, the more danger you're in. Maybe you're just supposed to go. I'm absolutely lost in Tinker Toys. Okay, it's fine. Mercifully, we landed on something. This game's knockback system can be a problem. Fox 5 Manhattan! This ought to be good. This just in, a youth from Chicago has been arrested by NYPD for the battery of multiple individuals, <laughs> as well as multiple felony weapons charges. No, what do you More mean? 11. Kevin McAllister? Nah, he'd never commit a felony, what do you mean? At least not one, if he would commit a felony, he'd probably go for the gusto and commit several all at once. That's what I think. Thank you for the news update, though. Now, Kevin's never killed anyone. I firmly believe that. He came close several times, but somehow they always survive. Credit fraud? I could believe that Kevin McAllister commits credit fraud. That makes sense to me. How else does he afford all these traps? Oh no, they immediately broke my shit. Yeah, it seems like once you get to that part that there's- you just gotta find some way to, like, not land right on top of them. It seems like that's the big challenge of this stage. Seems like they just track to your location. Probably gotta land kinda diagonally so that we can outrun them. Now, there's absolutely no mercy. The wet bandits are pissed. And why wouldn't they be? That's fair enough. At least we have a lot of extra lives to work with. Let's get both pieces of the bazooka while we're up here. There's the last piece. Okay. The stage is starting to make sense to me. Speed ran that. It's all right, Freestar. We've gotten better at learning the tricks required to get to the end. It's just the actual, like, it's just the actual bandits part that we're having trouble with. Every time we get to him, we immediately lose our weapon. We just kind of get command grabbed as soon as we arrive. Haven't found a way around that yet. Oh, 
Okay. Grab the pizza. Sadly, the bazooka does not kill those guys in one hit. It would be nice. Can I get in here? No, that would make too much sense. Understood. <gasps> Wait a minute, he's up here! If he's up here, I can blast him in safety. Oh, hell yeah, here we go. We caught a lucky break. We found him in a bad spot. But probably as soon as we land, we're gonna fall on top of Marv and get command grabbed. No? Oh, hell yeah, we did it. We figured it out. I don't know what we did any different. But that's all we needed was to be able to get a gun. <laughs> we just needed to be able to bring a good gun here. Ah, I see. I gotta grab that ring. Unless... no, nah, I can just make that jump. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa! He got Willy Wonka. He's dead now. Stealing from children is the lowest. I'm heading straight for the police station. If you jerks want to stop me, now's your chance. Kevin's talking a lot of shit. Oh my god, Harry tried to kill him. And then he froze, and then he shattered! He's dead! It's alright, he deserved it. <laughs> the whys in this spot, they are questionable, I agree. Marv is already here, huh? I don't have my weapon yet. I have not crafted a weapon. Why is there so much wildlife? What have you done to piss off every single cat in New York, Kevin? Our new plan, just run. <laughs> we can still get to the end of the stage without a weapon. We just gotta run for it. That is not moving very fast. <gasps> there was a pit! What do you mean there was a bottomless pit on the streets of New York? You know what? I believe that, actually. No, that, that tracks. That makes sense to me. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, there's the spring right there. Where's the other part? There's a third component to this weapon. It might be on ground level. Wouldn't be surprised if they spread them all over the fucking place. Aha! There it is! Ah, uh, yes! What is this?! What have you crafted, Kevin? We've made a shoot gun. We've made a shotgun. It is impossible to stand anywhere without taking hits. Well, this is a fun ride. <laughs> I 
thank god we landed on something solid. Oh, is this the end of the level? Oh, hell yeah. I'm ready to- I'm ready for those crooks this time! Come on, you bozos! Follow me! We're actually going to the house! Uh, yes. We've escaped the ninjas of New York. Oh my god! That might have actually killed them. Those were bricks from fairly high up, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think they survived that. I think they're probably dead. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have bricks? Kevin's default weapon is bricks? They don't seem very effective, unfortunately. But I need something better. Oh, Christ, now there's two of them! I'll take the pizza box. You'll get zapped, idiot. See you later, nerds! I need you guys over here. Yes. No, 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 no. Right about here. Shit. Oh no, it's hard to it's hard to get them exactly where we need them. There we go. I think Harry's dead. We've slain Harry. We still have Marv to worry about. Oh, he's fast. Okay. Okay. Eh. Okay. He's just gonna be pestering us as we go along. I understand. Wow! He's very speedy. He's a very speedy boy. Whoa! Holy shit! What was that teleport? Oh my god! I thought he was behind us. Turns out he was in front of us. Yo, Marv, he's just that cracked. He's just that good. So we can probably just take him to the basement. We can probably take him to the basement, kill him off. Shouldn't be too hard to kill one of them down here. What just hit me? Ah, there was a rat. Oh, I fucked that up. Understood. That's okay. Have him follow me this way. Got him. Okay, cool. I'm quite confident in my speed, you know. <laughs> yeah. Marv is too fast. He's faster than any man. It's okay. We he should be he should be dead. We shouldn't have to worry about him anymore. Now we just have to worry about Harry, who presumably is going to do the exact same teleporting. But we've already used up all of our like electricity from Welcome the basement. The Get ready. So there's not going to be that much we can do about it. Sammy, thank you for the follow. Where is he? I see you up there. I see you up there. Yeah! <laughs> we hit him from downstairs by collapsing the floor. That was sick. Oh my god, fall into the basement, idiot. Yo, Aerovim, thank you for the 22 whole years. Oh. Okay, we got a knockdown. <gasps> the water came back. 
Wait a minute. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Maggie, thank you for the follow. Yes! That, that means the other one may have come back. Yo, the water resets? Let's go. Hold on. That's just what we needed. No, this one didn't come back. The can shelf does look like a trap. I'm not entirely sure how to trigger it, though. Might have to push it? Let me see. Can I push this? Ah, so it does. Does you stepping in this count? No, I have to drop it on you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. I'm starting to understand. Starting to understand what they're asking of me. It came back! Yeah, come here. Ah, shit. Oh, it sticks him in place. It doesn't deal damage. <laughs> this game's sick. This game's great. Okay, got my knockdown. What? He's got a projectile! Oh, he's fast. Uh oh, that's not great. Not sure how this one works. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this stage is this stage is tricky. So I think that the best way to probably do this is to get them both killed at the same time using the electricity in the basement. That is my assumption. I probably want to spawn them both in at the same time. There we go. Now we got both of them. We probably just want to handle both of them at the same time. That way, we can do the rest of the stage with general... Uh, with, with a lot less general danger. Alright, Harry did not run into it. That is okay. Because I don't know if the bricks can actually kill. They deal damage sometimes, but I don't know if they're capable of actually killing. That's alright, we got plenty of other shit to use. <gasps> they are capable of killing. Oh, in that case, I can just bean them to death. Nah, it'd still be faster to do it this way. There we go. Yeah, but his health regenerates. I see, I see. Okay, let me get like one more. If we get if we keep getting all these knockdowns, his health his healing might <laughs> offset. Okay, it's fine. Now we should be able to just explore the stage in peace. Unless they for some reason respawn. Which they might do. We've already seen them teleport. They make a scrub quote over those bricks? Yeah, I think they, they probably would. A lot of scrub quotes coming out of the Sticky Bandits, I feel. Barrel Trap might be slide. Oh. I hadn't considered that. I should try that. We haven't found any other use for the slide, so that is probably what it is. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Aha! So it is. And I know that some ceilings like this can be caved in, yeah. You're given a lot to work with when it comes to taking them out on this stage. Oh, I'm on the first floor. Got it. But they're already dealt with. We should be fine. Let's 
game's got a groovy soundtrack. The grooviest Home Alone soundtrack we've heard. Oh, what a juke. Gotta get back to the bathroom. How do we... do I just? Okay. There are some groovy Genesis games, that's true. Some of them are incredibly groovy. That's a good question. I would argue that the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat 1 sounds better than even the arcade original. But that's the example that most readily comes to mind. Okay, we got a 1-up. Sick! He's in the pipes! Oh no. It's a lot like the giant water slide back home, with one slight exception. It stinks in here. Box Andra! Box Andra, thank you for the 22 whole years! How is the minstrel song going? We're playing Home Alone 2, right? <laughs> This is the only stage, I think, that we're given a melee weapon. We're given a fly swatter by default. It looks like we need... We can we can make a slingshot. Slowly, but it's going really good. You'll love to see it. I've only been able to lurk, generally. I haven't been able to really... do much. I've been too busy with other shit, unfortunately. Glad you were having a good time, though. Okay, there we go. Slingshot get. That's probably a, at least marginally better than the... Probably marginally better than the fly swatter. We got a higher rate of fire for sure. Yeah, I also wish the movie was like this. Remember the pipe scene where he had to dodge flies and stuff in the pipes? Why are we in pipe zone? What pipe system is like this? What is going on? Yeah, you're right. This is just basic. This is just basic New York architecture. No, I need to land on a bubble! Ooh. I cannot seem to land on bubbles here. Do you want me to go this way instead? Hello, Frog. Mr. Frog? Maybe he's friendly. Why, you've never had sewer pizza before? If it's good enough for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's good enough for me. What have I done? I think I got an extra life. Oh, thank God, that was the end of the stage. <laughs> Pigeon Lady, where are you? She must be around here somewhere. I've got to find her. We've got to find the Pigeon Lady running for our lives. Ooh, nice lighting effect. The ninjas are back. New York ninjas! Jumping from the treetops, as they often do. There we go. Oh, we're gonna need a weapon ASAP. These snowballs are not cutting it. This is, this is the hottest jam so far. Okay. Okay, I've obtained a tube! Where's the rest of it? 
You gave up on this game due to this stage. We're getting cooked so far, so I totally understand. Oh my god, there's no safe place! Alright, new plan. Just go. Just gun it, Kevin. Ah! Whoa, holy shit! Oh no, they're both here. I'm out of here. See you later. Oh my god, is this stage just run for your life? I think that's the stage. I think the stage is just fucking run for your life. <gasps> pizza box! Yo, let me get the pizza! Okay. Oh, the Christmas tree! Uh oh. Oh, she must be at the top. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be rough with them hassling me. Let me get a knockdown at least. Okay. I don't know where Harry went. Oh, this is gonna be rough with them pestering me the whole time. What? All right, fair enough. You got me. You got me fair and square. All right, so the plan is to just fucking go. That's the strat. We can reasonably get to the end of the stage by just cooking. Just hauling ass. Kevin out here running around National Park sees ninjas. Kevin says, Ah, oh, sorry ninjas, Ninja Gaiden is that way on the nose. <laughs> Thank you, GP Rider. There we go. Is the hardest Home Alone 2? No, I would say that Kevin's Dreams, the cancelled Game Boy one, is still harder. But that's mostly due to, like, crazy input lag. Have I found a safe spot where we're not getting attacked by anyone else? Oh, no, they're too fast, though. Oh, they're really fast on this stage, though. That's not really gonna work. Wow, what a leap! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Did you see Marv do that jump, dude? That was crazy! I've never seen him leap that good! He's got hidden talents that are not shown in the movie. Maybe, just maybe, I can kill them one at a time. From here, Marv hasn't spawned in yet. So it's possible... Uh-oh. No, we're not, it's not, it's not going to be possible if we're getting harassed by ninjas the whole time. Yeah, there's nowhere safe to stand on this stage. There's seemingly... There is seemingly no strat other than just go and hope for the best. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh no, we could not craft a weapon. That was not the last piece of it. We just need the icicle. There's the icicle. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, they just broke my weapon though, because we got gribbed. Alright, hold on. We just need to get to the top of this tree. I'm pretty sure. But some of the pieces fall down. Some of them are fake, I see. What is the true route to the top? Yeah, we got an icicle gun briefly. We know where we know where the pieces to it are. In theory, we could kill them with it. That is a tall order, though. There's plenty of healing items along the way, at least.
I'll take that. We want that, and we definitely want... We definitely want that 1-up, because that 1-up respawns. It's very important that we get that 1-up up there. Might not be able to this time, though. It's kind of hard to secure a path to it. Marv grabbed us in mid-air. He's got the mid-air grab. He's a grappler, I always knew it. Yeah, I didn't expect this game to turn into Ninja Gaiden at the end with, like, the quantity of enemies that they throw at us. They drop all pretenses of this being a fair fight at the end of the game. They're just gonna throw everything at you. Okay. Here's the other part of it. Where's that pizza box? Let me get the pizza box. Let me get the icicle from over here. Before I make the gun, before I make the gun, give me some room. Let me secure, like, some knockdowns real quick. Oh, they're not even gonna let me grab that icicle. Okay. At least the extra life respawns, so as long as we keep grabbing it, we don't lose anything. What we need to do is we need to get that- we need to craft that weapon in such a way that we're not totally fucked up by the time we have crafted it. Yeah, the knockdown is crazy. Sometimes they fall down in one shot, which is nice. Other times you have to shoot them like three or four times. There does not seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. Icicle first? Maybe. But that's a slope at the end. I don't know if it's possible to get back up. Yo, they are cooking. They are absolutely cooking. Uh-oh. Yo, we got caught between a Marv and a Harry place. Okay. Okay, okay. It's alright, we're labbing it out. Taking out the enemies as they appear would seem to be, like, the best strat, but there also seems to be no end to the spawning of them. It does seem Ninja Gaiden style, where they just kind of respawn <laughs> as you linger in the area, so you just have to fucking gun it. In the milk! Thank you. No, I need to get up top, please. Alright, we'll go. We'll do it this way. Alright, I guess we're taking the bottom route after all. Understood. Take the pizza box, at least. We're not making this weapon, but at least we got full health. Yeah, some of the snow... Some of the snow just, like, collapses when you touch it. So there must be certain routes that the game does not want us to jump, which means there's some element of, like, memorization involved for this last little platforming bit. Oh yeah, we're not jumping over that. Yo, the slide across the screen! That's okay. Yeah, they're so plus, they're super plus. 
The whole thing having ice physics does not help matters much. But at least Home Alone has the excuse of it being Christmas. That's more than most games can say. This is the final level, yeah. We just have to climb that Christmas tree. It is, uh, immensely difficult, unfortunately. Thank you. No, I want that pizza box, thank you. All games with ice physics are Christmas games? I can't... I don't disagree. So this seems... The end of the stage in general seems to be a spot where there ain't many enemies around. Let me take that knockdown. So we can't use that one. We can't use that one. We can't use that one. Which way do you want me to go? Aha! Woo! There we go. We did it! Yeah, that last stage is rough. Mom, I knew you'd find me by the giant Christmas tree. This is my friend, the Pigeon Lady. There we go, we did it. Merry Christmas, chat. They were carried off to their doom by pigeons, and we never saw the sticky bandits again. The pigeons ate them, yes. So, the last stage notwithstanding, because the last stage is, like, turbo-fucked. This is probably my favorite of the bunch, I think. Although I do have a soft spot for Home Alone 2 Kevin's Dream, because it's got Mecha Marvin, and it's got the crazy, like, <laughs> fucked up hell creatures. It's got Xeno Marv, it's got Mecha Marv. But, uh... Oh yeah, you missed Mecha Marvin, it was awesome. <laughs> but in terms of the game just vaguely being like, is this game playable? Uh, this is probably the most playable of them, but man, that final stage is rough. That final stage is <laughs> it's no joke. You're being relentlessly chased the whole time. Sadly, there were no games based on any of the other Home Alone films, to my knowledge. I don't think there was a Home Alone 3 game at any point, or anything past that. And that's fair enough, I suppose, because I haven't heard many good things about any of the Home Alones past two. Yeah, just getting stun-locked all over the place. It ended it too, that's what I hear. That is what I hear. It's not even Christmas? Oh, you're right. You're right, movie's bad. Stun lock rodeo. It was a pretty civilized game up to that last stage, but somehow we still got through it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the ninjas out of nowhere. I'm surprised so much of the wildlife wanted us dead. Yo, what's up, objective binary? You just caught the end of Home Alone 2, Lost in New York for the Genesis. A very mighty game. I would say that the Genesis version of both are my favorite. Because I really liked the Genesis version of Home Alone 1. How you, you gotta go around protecting all the houses in the neighborhood. You gotta, like, craft your own weapons. It was actually, like, really... <laughs> really forward thinking for when that game came out. Yeah, I would say that between... I would say that of all the Home Alone games I've ever streamed, probably Genesis Home Alone 1 is, uh... Oh, it's snowing. That's nice. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> I would say probably Genesis Home Alone 1 is my favorite of all of them. Genesis Home Alone 2? Probably a close second. Up until that final stage, then it becomes a giant shit show. Kevin's Dreams is the most unhinged for sure. Absolutely no question about it. What the hell? Why was there a giant uh, why was there a giant alien of the of the of the sticky bandits? Why did they combine with a weird alien creature? We'll just never know. Maybe it's for the best that game never actually came out. Would have scared the shit out of a bunch of kids, I think. Alright, I'm fresh out of Home Alone 2 games. We're fresh out of Home Alone 2 games, so unfortunately that's where we... That's all I've got for you today. There might be another stream tomorrow. Thank you! I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's a Tuesday stream. There might be one! You could check in. I might be on, I might not be, I don't know. Thank you! But thank you, everybody, who came out to this stream. Thanks thank to you. everyone who thank rated you. and subscribed, all that good shit. Wait! Thank you. Wait a minute, you're telling me that TTT, you. T -T, you're telling me my good friend TTTTT, -T 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 -T, how many fucking, I think it's five T's, thank you. is streaming? We're gonna raid my good friend TTTTTTTTSD. Uh, throw scoots at him, if you want. If you don't want to throw scoots at him, throw, uh, throw these at him. Or if you don't have either of those, throw rack attacks at him. And I'll see you maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely Wednesday, as always. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until then, buh bye bye